And here we are. I, I'm recording, people. I, I am recording, everyone. I know you're talking about people in their natural habitats. Yeah, I just took off my pants. Yeah, Wendy's naked. Just the pants. Steve's on the floor. I'm on the couch. Whatever. Anyway. This is why my friends tell me I'm a panda bear, because this is how I sit all the time. Good for you. Okay. You're a Buddha. <laughs> so anyway, that's how Daisy woke. Oh, sorry. No, no, you can ramble on. I just have to tell the people this. Okay, so I wanted to tell you what is A S and D. What are those videos about? A S and D means altered states and dimensions, and I did put the entire write up out on um, advertising. So some of you may have gotten it. Some of you who don't open it didn't, and you're wondering what these videos are all about. And so what you want to do is if, if basically listen to this video before you listen to the others. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. It's okay. But this is just going to give you an idea of exactly what's going on. Okay, so ASD, Altered States and Dimensions. Basically, it means... Um, we're opening up a doorway, we're going into another dimension, but we're altering the state that we're in in order to bring things back. That's why it's called altered states and dimensions. Now, this is, well, I'm going to read to you what I put out in advertising, because this way, for those of you that didn't get it, you will understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so I want to explain a little bit about what we've been doing on and off for the last five years. The last two years, we have been working at least three days a week on these. The work we have been doing is with the 36 dimensions. The 31st through the 36th directly deal with God and his many abilities, which include God being able to focus directly on you and only you. Now, what that means is I know a lot of people have asked the question of how, um, if you were to pray to God or talk to God, how can he hear you if, say, you know, 50 million other people are praying to him at the same time? That's because he created dimensions. And he did. And dimensions are even spoke about in the Bible. And at least, I believe it's uh, six to eight different places, other dimensions are mentioned. So they actually do exist. And we have scientists a few years ago um, saying that that their existence is is definitely there and that and that they could be um an infinite number of them the bible doesn't tell us how many there are but you know they're there so that's something you may want to do some research on and because it is quite fascinating but anyway this is how god can deal directly with you okay so um the 31st is as if he was sitting right next to you and you are having a one-on-one. -on -one. That's the 31st dimension. These dimensions are powerful. And what enables spirits and gifts to come through? There are gifts of healing, change, destiny, wealth, angelic, as well as alien communication. Now, it's not that in the dimension of God there are aliens, because there's not. Those dimensions are reserved... Um, other dimensions are reserved for them. Other dimensions are reserved for angels and other creatures, lower level as well as higher level, because some of these creatures just can't exist on the same dimensions. Like, for example, you have your lower level dimension. This is the dimension that is under where you sit right now in your physical being that you cannot see, that they're, but they're beneath you. And it's a, it's a, it's a very uh, bad dimension to be in it's actually a sub dimension and they're creatures that are foul these are demons these are, are things like that that you just don't want to deal with and todd is creeping on my turf yeah he's blowing you up okay we're talking about thug life here just then because somebody's creeping on my turf anyway <laughs> everything you can think of is sitting and waiting somewhere in one of the dimensions while most people want to head right for where God operates, he did create them all, and each one has a reason for being created. The angels have a space of their own and yet can travel to other dimensions. The aliens have the same, but not for the reasons you might think. They have what they have due only to length of travel and fighting among species. No matter which 
species of alien, they all have a dimension they reside in, in flesh or spirit form. There are dimensions for healing and for enlightenment, dimension, dimensions for changing your body. It's not that they are specific to those things, but rather the spirits and entities that live are capable of giving you, of giving to you and helping you. Now, I'm, I'm going to go over some of these dimensions now with you. When you see a video put up, it will tell you in the title which dimension we are working with. Now, I'm actually not putting it in the title. I have it in the description. So if you hit the little drop-down bar on YouTube, it'll tell you which dimension we were working in. And um, it'll also give you the website address and things like that. Now, uh, the reason you're getting the website address, these videos are free. You don't have to send any money. You don't have to pay for them. You can listen to them as often as you like. But <coughs> if, excuse me, you decide... Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a list of these. Let's say you want the alien DNA sequence activation frequency. And you want to know about star seed implantation, pyramid capstone, awakening of the mind and the, Finks, and the Sphinx frequency, knowledge of the tree of life, cellular memory relinquishment, harmonious balance of yin and yang, removal of belly fat, anxiety removal, uncontrollable urination, halitosis removal, Removal of excess sweating, chakra removal, curse removal, generational curse, re curse removal, broad spectrum wealth, creating your book of destiny, positive leg circulation, blood cleansing, headache removal, brighter eyes, psychic kickstart, Christ consciousness for family, protection for family, blessings for you, help with mood swings, like whatever. These are, these are just some of the ones that we have. Let's say... You were interested in eight of those things, or, or even just five of them. You have to listen to each video multiple times because a vibration coming from a dimension that's very strong can really hurt your body. That's why they are the length that they're in, and we tell you to listen to them multiple times. If you don't have time to listen to them multiple times, and there's a bunch of them that you want, you can go to the website at www.hauntedcollector.net and for $37.77 you will buy a necklace that has a real natural stone on it. $37. $37.77. For each additional one you want, each real stone, genuine stone, is $10. So you can add them all onto the necklace or you can take them on and off as you wish. When you go to bed, you can wear one. You can wear one throughout the day. You can wear them while you can even wear them while you shower. It's not going to hurt anything. They're real stones, and these stones can be worn both by men and women. And they're not going to make a guy look like a girl. They're not going to make a woman look like a guy. They're gender neutrals, so anybody can wear them without feeling weird. You know, you, you just go ahead and wear them. You basically you are building your power with them. You build it. $10 isn't a lot because you guys have seen some of the prices on the website. Some of them are through the roof. And you see what some of the things go for on eBay. They go high. So $10, this is really good. And you use it when you want to use it. And you build your power up to the level that you want it to be when you want to do it. So now, um, let, let, let me get back to this now. Okay, so... As I was saying, when you see a video put up, it will tell you in the title which dimension we are working with. But again, it's actually going to be in the description. In order for me to work with these, I had to do a transformation of my own, which was astral and full body travel, so I could access them. While in my learning stage, I was educated on how to bring those gifts, positivity, and healing to you. Here is a list of the dimensions and what they do and mean. As I mentioned before, the 31st through the 36th dimension are dealing directly with God. The 31st is that direct communication I spoke of, where it's one-on-one -on -one with you and him. And the 32nd is where he can gift you with very special bl blessings while still maintain what he calls spirit sovereignty. This is, the free, this is the free will access. Gifts are given and you use them and when and if you decide to. I mentioned those two first because they are my favorite. The 36th dimension is that of being just like God. 
I will now start with the first dimension. Now remember, when I say being like God, the Bible speaks of that. You know, all you have to do is crack it open and read it. I can't give you a Bible lesson right now, and some of you don't believe in it anyway. I'm not going to preach to you. What you believe in is what you believe in. I myself have witnessed miracles that are beyond the scope of any type of dimension and reality and could only come from one place. I have seen a man appear before my eyes in solid flesh, in solid flesh, change my tire for me. And as I turned around to put this little stick, little thing that turns the jack into my car, I turned my head. Him and his truck were gone. I have watched people go blind in front of me. Not blind permanently, but blind so that they did not see what I had. Now, this is real physical. I was in another state. I'm not going to get into it. But um, people were looking in the car, and the things were right there. And Lindy, am I telling the truth? Oh, yeah. The things were right there in the front of my car. And there's only one explanation. God made them blind. And thank God he did. I'm serious. Thank God he did. It's true. Like, there is nothing else I can say about that. So, on to the dimensions. The first dimension is the lowest, obviously, of the levels. This is where hairy-looking creatures of foulness dwell. This is also where your low-level demons exist and yet can travel here to ours. It's because of this dimension and a few others that we encounter negativity and possession. The second dimension are creatures like unicorns, fairies, elves, brownies, pegasus, dragons, and those who just wish to stay on that level. This level also holds dual creatures, and they all get along. They all get along because basically it's where they live. The third dimension is where spirituality, you connect with the planet you are on. These are people and spirits that connect with trees and soil. It's also a material place. This is also where creatures of material and spirit and flesh form live. This includes those who bring wealth and, again, material things. Some of these creatures, as crazy as it sounds, when talking about religion of any kind, would include Dijen, Akka, a goddess from Finland, Mbak Zori, a cat that brings wealth, golden leprechauns with halos, the Bugelnaz, who is very ugly but kind and generous, the griffin, wealth grind, which is a must to have along with a djinn, the Norse half-elf, and this type of elf doesn't reside in the previous dimension because of the help it gives humans. The Ifrit, the Kanadama, which does wealth, and not just for the Japanese. There are many of these spirits, way too many to list. You may wonder why some are here and not in the previous dimension, but it's because of the help they give you and other humans. While some might not make sense to you, especially when you see elf here and in the second dimension, it's because one is half human. The leprechaun with halo is a loving creature who gives wealth and grants wishes. This is the difference between the trickster leprechaun. That's why a different dimension. Now, we do have halo leprechauns. I just never, I've never put them on the website because I think they're cool as hell. Like, honestly, they are really cool. I always have about three to four running around in my house. Actually, I'm sorry. I have six. Uh, how many do we have? Five or six running around the house. What, cats? Uh, not cats. Oh. The, the, the halo. The, she goes cats. <laughs> what cats? She goes cats. Well, we have those two. But no, the, the leprechaun. The, oh, yeah. With the, hey, the leprechauns and the halo. It's like five, six. I'd say something five, like that. Yeah. So you got five of them. They run around the house. Um, so if we have five, we did have six, and one escaped and went next door. Seriously. And no, I'm not talking about cats. I'm really talking about. <laughs> hey, those leprechauns! But they're actually really cool, and they do, and they do get along with cats and dogs because the lady next door has a bunch of dogs and one cat, and she is really tuned in. It's really cool to have a neighbor like that. She's very tuned in, and um, <clears throat> she said to me today, I told her, I said, "Yeah, I'm recording these energies from the other dimension." She goes, "That is so cool because." I came out this morning and I was recording the sounds as well. And she goes, and by the way, I saw that leprechaun again. He was writing, what's the dog's name? Not Arwen. Um, Not Arwen. What's his I name? I think it starts with an A. Ardawan. Ardawan. I don't know. She's got a dog named Ardawan. I think it's Ardawan. 
I think it's something from The Hobbit. I don't know. But the leprechaun was riding him up the stairs. Like, whatever. They, they get along great. Anyway, fourth dimension is for humans and all creatures and spirits during astral travel. It's kind of like a meeting place. Since all types can go there, it's why I caution against going without a protection placed on you. What that means is, <clears throat> fourth dimension, all of them can travel there. It's kind of like, think of like, think of like LaGuardia, the airport, or O'Hare, or someplace like that. I don't know what the hell they've changed the names of all these airports now. I don't know, or they're going to, I don't know. So just think of a great big airport, Philly, wherever, New York, where everybody, all kind of people are there, and they're exchanging places, they're going here and there. So that's kind of what the fourth dimension is like. And... You don't know who you're going to meet there. There's good people, there's bad people. So you want to have some kind of protection in place. We always have to travel through the fourth dimension. Traveling for the four, traveling through the fourth dimension is how both Steve, I, and Lindy usually enter all other dimensions, which is sometimes we pick up sounds. Um, especially if for any godforsaken reason, we have to go into a sub-dimension of the first or second. Then we're always getting something. And we we know what we have to do. So, Now the fifth dimension is the first dimension of heaven. This is the welcome center where you become educated on what it's like to live in a heavenly state. That's all it is. Education of heaven. The sixth dimension is where you move to from the fifth. Obviously. This dimension had things kind of like schools for anything you wish to learn. Anything. In this dimension, you have the ability to absorb knowledge like a sponge. The seventh dimension is where your healers and light workers will first enter. It's basically level one, class one. The eighth dimension teaches light workers how to preserve themselves and not take on negativity from illness and other things from those they help. This also includes negative energy. This dimension is filled with happiness, along with schools of higher learning for healers and light workers. So basically, they're really getting um, a really good education there and how to release negative energy. Not like they have negative energy, but when they work on, on, when they work on something, someone, sometimes they can pull it in. And, and they basically learn how to release that and break it up so it does not become an energy. The ninth dimension is really unique. There are cities of people glowing and white. They work on different things but are happy. Each city works on a different issue and in growing the spirit of those on other dimensions. So their jobs are to help other creatures, spirit, creatures, spirits, entities, humans, alien, even aliens that have a hard time in growing their own spirit and, and learning. The tenth is for healers and light workers to relax and take in what God has created. Inside this dimension are crystal pyramids for passing on real thought forms that those in our dimension can manifest into a real reality. The 11th dimension is very important because it allows for travel to the much higher levels, accompanied by a very knowledgeable being. This is where your spirit does its growing. Also, it's where creation of other beings are made. It's also where the connection to every alien species can be made safely. This dimension has jewel-encrusted palaces castles and pyramids there are also single cell beings being created so when you enter into the the 11th dimension it's very interesting um because that dimension in every different area of it hallway corner building there is something going on so when i'm talking about single cells are being created these single cells are living and they can become anything that God decides they're going to be, even though God hands, like he creates that power, he hands it down to those in the 11th dimension, which is why I wanted to tell you, and some people didn't agree with this, but I have um, one called, I'm going to tell you, Comfort for Aborted Babies. So a lot of aborted babies... When you go and murder a child, when you murder a baby, and I'm going to call it like it is. Somebody doesn't like it, you don't have to like it. You don't have to like it, you don't have to agree with it. I don't really care one way or another. This is my opinion of it. 
And my opinion is correct. It's not an opinion. It's just a fact. The murdered babies were at one point, yes, they were cells, but they were living. And they were growing into babies. They were alive. And at some point, they are feeling pain. You know, they've been murdered. So this energy and frequency that we do puts them at ease. And it has nothing to do with what you agree with, your body, my body, he, she, it's multi, multiple gender body, don't care. The bottom line is this helps those beings move on to a higher frequency. And, and when they are reborn through, say, reincarnation, because that is going to go on until the birthing stops. And when I say birthing stops, we're talking about God has reached his number of souls that are going to come down here because, you know, the end is coming, something like that. Okay, the twelfth dimension is the beginning of the realm of angels. This dimension is also where those angels come back to after being in human bodies. Okay, so the twelfth dimension basically is a land where angels, they come here in human bodies, which I've seen myself, and they go back up and they come back down and they just do what they need to do when they need to do it. That's just their job. From the 13th to the 18th dimension is where they live but can move freely to all dimensions in spirit from without a flesh body. The 19th to the 24th dimension has a lot going on. This is where I would go if someone has issues they want resolved, including changing the way they look. Health issues and things they want physically changed can be accomplished here because of what was built. This also has the original building of the Akashic Records. It also holds the Palace of Souls, which is the full remembrance of past lives. I have found if I had to pick to order three dimensions that were my favorite, this is one of them. In here also live the Cherubim, the Powers, and the Thrones. The 25th is for asking to remove karma and to sit in front of judges to heal your soul and things you did wrong. It's a place to turn back time. You know, example, abortion. You might want to ask for some forgiveness for that, if you did that. Okay, I, I pass no judgment, I'm just saying. Or anything else you've done. If you've murdered somebody, if you have um, if you did somebody wrong, you know, that's really bad. That caused a lot of issues. This is a dimension that would um, fix that if you are seriously and genuinely sorry. The 26th dimension is for worshiping the creator and most want to once they learn you know what's real the 27th through the 30th are places designed for you to go for you to go to but yet still return home to earth this place is also has all creatures and spirits from all planets and realms that visit stop by etc i go here to get commute get communication for you from relatives that have passed on that don't want to visit communications from aliens one of my biggest helpers with hybrids has come from this level. Mothers seeking their babies or grown children. Now, I'm talking about hybrids. I get You won't believe the emails I get from people that swear they gave birth to a hybrid baby and they want to find it. Honest to God, a lot of people. I'm almost starting to think it's some kind of crazy phenomenon. Um... One of my biggest helpers, like I said, with hybrids has come from this level. Mothers seeking their babies or grown children. Those wanting to know if they have children on other planets or see if eggs were stolen. Those aliens that come here are good, even if their species is notoriously bad or evil. So while you may have a set of a, a, a species of aliens that, that are really bad, there's always a few in there that are good. And so they they help and they communicate and do what they can to to help not only other alien species, but humans as well. And if people think what I'm saying is crazy, think about it. How many, how many dimensions are there? Well, technically you can't prove it. How many solar systems are there? Have you been there? You can't prove it, but you know that it's true. And in those solar systems, how many planets are there? So to think we are the only planet with life or intelligent life is insane. There are other dimensions, but they reside in the third as a subdivision, and it's a lot like purgatory or a hell. It gives an entire new meaning to hell on earth.
What we use these dimensions for can vary from helping with anxiety, fixing body flaws, communication with God, and the list is huge. So how does this all work for you? You will listen to the video that corresponds to what you need. You can listen as often as you like, and it's free. We realize that the time is coming when many will need skills or help. You may have to listen to them on and off. Some dimensions are activated by salt, water, or soil. Some are activated by my going there or by Steve or Lindy, as both had transformations. Sometimes you will hear the ocean and other times nothing. But things are coming through energy, healing, and often special messages or the changes you want. We have done so many of these, it will take a long time to load them up, but we will get it done. Since you are not in the dimension, but the energy is coming through, things take time, but they work. This is serious change. All of these videos are free, but if you want, but if you don't want to listen all the time, as I've said before, or you have more than one issue, you can buy for $37.77 a necklace with a natural stone to hold those vibrations and give you the help you need. If you like three things, you buy the first at $37.77 and each additional stone at $10. Each stone will correspond with a video that you need help with or that you want to constant carry that energy or that frequency, that vibration around with you. So I hope that I've explained how everything works and you understand. Again, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to buy anything at all. I have the website for sales. I sell on the, both websites. I sell on eBay. But if it's easier for you, you're basically getting um, um, the, the stones at cost, and they are real. So, um, again, you can go to www.hauntedcollector.net, and you will find the category called ASND. Um, I know when I put out the advertising, it said YouTube Dimensions. But you're actually going to find it under um, Altered States and Dimensions. It will we'll just say A, S, and D. And all the stones will be there and the necklaces will be there. And what you'll put in your notes is what video you want. Now, you can't just buy the necklace and whatever stones you want and have that energy. You do have to listen to the video at least once. Because those frequencies hit your body. They're coming from another dim dimension. And it is guided directly to people listening to it. So you do have to listen to it one time. You can't cut that corner. You can cut the corner of how many times you have to listen to it. But not totally. So you do have to hear it. Okay, so I hope this explains everything to you. You guys have a good night. That category will be on hauntedcollector.net come tomorrow. Or Steve... Yeah. Can you add that today? Uh, yeah. So it's called ASND, all caps. It's a category you have to create on hauntedcollector.net. Mm -hmm. And you'll put necklace, um, black necklace with genuine stone. We have multiple different stones. And you'll do the necklace for $37.77. And then in that category, you'll, like I said, in that you'll do the ASND category. Then you'll have the necklace with stone. The next listing will be just a stone, $10. And on the website, there's no shipping to pay for. None at all. So um, I do ask if you are out of the country because at least half of our customers, we sell in 53 countries, are out of the country. And postage has gone through the roof. If you're going to buy... A necklace please just pick another one and, and get a stone because we are covering the we are we're not asking you for shipping on it but it can get very very high so just try to if you're going to order out of the country and there's a few things you want just order them at once if you can't afford them at one time say hey Didi, i want this this and that you can put down 10 20 percent and i'll put them on layaway for you but it just say it just saves us shipping Okay, have a great night, and um, we'll have some more videos uploaded for you tomorrow. Bye-bye.